Microsoft is in talks to buy TikTok. The tech giant confirmed in a blog post on Sunday. This comes after President Trump threatened to ban the app in the U.S. on Friday. Here to discuss the latest is Addy Robertson, senior reporter at The Verge. Addy, great to have you with me here today. I do want to start from the top here. What do we know as far as why President Trump wants to ban TikTok here in the United States? It's difficult to say. So ostensibly, the idea is that TikTok poses security threats, that um, it's possible that the Chinese government could look at data, that it could push propaganda or sort of influence the moderation policies of TikTok. These are all of the reasons that national security experts put forward. And then there are a bunch of sort of side issues that it seems entirely plausible Trump is actually motivated by. Um, like he's insinuated that this is because China did a bad job of managing the coronavirus. And there was a case, obviously, where his Tulsa rally was theoretically hijacked by a bunch of TikTok activists, something that he's also seemingly pretty upset about. So it's always really difficult with the Trump administration to tell how much of it is in good faith and how much of it is just sort of trying to punish somebody using the tools that are available. Yeah, Addy, to that point, since it's not just about the ownership of the company, it's the actual content of what we see uh, in the platforms. There's these pockets of Black Lives Matter activists, climate activists, anti-Trump activists, for example, on TikTok. Do we have a sense of any kind of regulation that might come out um, for TikTok, even if it is owned by a U.S. company? We'll, we'll get to Microsoft in a moment, but do we have a sense that there is more still to come in terms of regulation for the company? I don't think we've heard much about regulation that specifically would target TikTok. Obviously, there was a big antitrust hearing last week and recommendations made to the FCC that uh, tech content essentially be regulated. So it's possible that we'll see regulations that are just aimed at social media in general, which is also a pretty common target for Trump. But I think with TikTok, it's specifically pretty focused on either creating, like forcing it to sell off to a U.S. company or spin off somehow, or uh, the exact wording he's used is banning TikTok, which hasn't really been explained very well, and it's not entirely clear what he means by that. Um, but that seems like it would be not even content regulation, but just some kind of attempt to wholesale kick it off the App Store or something. If Microsoft were to be the company to acquire TikTok, what would this mean in terms of its role in the social media landscape. We know it owns LinkedIn, obviously, which is not necessarily compared to the other social platforms. What would that mean for Microsoft and TikTok within social media? Just on a really surface level, it would give Microsoft ownership of one of the most sort of innovative and fastest growing uh, social networks soon after it sort of failed to launch its own Twitch competitor with Mixer. Mm -hmm. So that brings Microsoft uh, both the whole social network, um, it also gets it onto phones in a way that Microsoft has sort of struggled with in recent years. And it gives it something that it can potentially tie into its gaming network. Obviously, like you said, a lot of Microsoft's better known acquisitions have been things like LinkedIn and GitHub, which are enterprise focused. But it also, the Xbox is a huge part of the consumer gaming landscape. And if it owns a social network that it can tie into that somehow, that potentially opens up a lot of possibilities for it. I'm glad you brought up the failure of Mixer. What does that imply for Microsoft's ability to make a platform like TikTok flourish? Do you think there's some, some concern or is this the kind of entity that Microsoft can take in and run with it and make it an even more of a competitor to the Instagrams and WhatsApps and Snaps of the world? I mean, with Mixer, it was trying to build something from scratch in a pretty competitive landscape. With TikTok, it's, it's acquiring something that's already extremely successful in, you could arguably compare it more to, say, Microsoft acquiring Minecraft, which it found something with a huge community. It didn't try to sort of integrate it into the central Microsoft services, and it's largely been pretty successful. But it all depends on, A, whether Microsoft meaningfully changes TikTok, in, which is obviously a concern whenever anybody buys a social network, and B, it's still kind of an open question how Microsoft buying just part of TikTok ends up affecting the rest, the service as a whole. Like Microsoft is only interested in, as far as we know, acquiring it in four countries. And TikTok is a worldwide app. 
So there have been people asking, okay, does this mean they're going to be two competing TikToks that don't really talk to each other? Does that mean people get cut off from a lot of content? And we just don't have any answers to that because obviously Microsoft hasn't even closed the deal. Well, Addy, if Microsoft does close this deal, does this put a little bit of pressure or spotlight off of Facebook? If there now is a big tech behemoth that owns uh, TikTok here in the U.S., does that make the anti-competitive, antitrust concern of Facebook a little bit lessened? It's possible, but it's also just possible that Microsoft has bought itself a huge headache, um, that it's suddenly moved into a world of content moderation and harassment issues and bias allegations that most of the other tech giants have found themselves in. Like Microsoft, sorry, not Microsoft, uh, Google and Facebook, there has been plenty of heat directed at both of them. And so it just seems possible that Microsoft will end up getting roped into this as well. All right, Addie, thank you so much for your time and your insight today. That's Addie Robertson, senior reporter at The Verge. Thanks again.